In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a stop loss on Kraken Pro. If you're still relatively new to Kraken, I do have a Kraken step-by-step -step beginner tutorial, as well as a Kraken Pro step-by-step -step tutorial. And I'll leave a link for those videos in the description down below for anyone that might find those helpful. This is not a sponsored video and this video is not financial advice. This video is intended for educational purposes only. If you get some value out of this, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Let's get into the video. To set up a stop loss, we first have to configure the order panel. So we'll head on over here and we'll toggle from buy over to sell. Then click right here and come down and click on stop loss. Now that we have the order panel configured, we need to choose a trigger price that executes our stop loss. So let's come on over here to the chart. And let's just imagine that we recently bought some Ethereum right down in this area right here. And perhaps we're looking for a little bit of a bounce on price action. But we can clearly see that the sellers are in control right now as Ethereum is in a short term downtrend. So maybe we want to set a stop loss just below this wick right here to protect ourselves from the possibility of price action rolling over and then moving to a lower low. So what I'll do is I'll grab a horizontal here from my drawing tools and let's go ahead and mark out a spot just below this wick, maybe something like this. Good enough for this demonstration. Now we can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart correlating to that horizontal coming in at 1738. So let's come back over here to the order panel and in trigger price, we'll type that price point in. So 1738. Now we need to choose how much of the asset we wish to sell if our stop loss gets hit. So what we can do is we can type in a quantity right here. You can do a total over here, or you can just simply use this slider bar right here. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this to 100% for the purposes of demonstration. When you get this configured the way that you want it, you just simply come down here and click on sell. And over here, you can see that this order has been submitted and I've now set up my stop loss. So let's go ahead and come back up here to the chart. And now we can see the stop loss in the chart itself inside this little red box. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this horizontal here like so. Now, if price action was to roll over and come down and hit our trigger price, our coins will be sold for the best available price off of the order book. We can also quickly amend our stop loss by just simply grabbing onto this box and then dragging it wherever we want it. So let's imagine we want to amend this stop loss. Maybe we want it down just slightly lower. We just simply grab onto it and then just drag it down to where you want it. Maybe something like this. Then you'll get a little pop up window here to edit your order. If everything in here looks good to you, you just simply click on confirm edits. And as you can see, we just dragged the stop loss down very slightly. This stop loss is going to stay in place until we either cancel it or it gets hit. If you want to quickly cancel it, you can do so by clicking on this little red X right here, or you can come down here to your conditional orders. And here's where you'll find the details of your stop loss. You can also cancel it by just simply coming over here on the right hand side and clicking this little X. Then you'll get a pop-up window to confirm your cancellation and we'll just simply hit yes. And as you can see, I just canceled the stop loss. Now I'll show you how you can set up a stop limit to potentially save a little bit on fees, but there is an extra step to these. So what we'll do is we'll come back up here to the order panel, make sure it's set to sell. We'll click right here where it says stop loss and we'll come down here and we'll click on stop loss limit. The first step to setting up a stop limit is choosing a trigger price. This is going to be a price point that triggers Kraken to place a limit order to sell our coins. So let's head back on over here to the chart. I'll grab a horizontal. And let's just imagine we want to use the same area as our trigger price. So we'll come down here just below this wick and I'll mark it out with this horizontal. Now we can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 1,737. So we'll come back up here to the order panel and we'll type that into trigger. We'll go 1,737. If the price of Ethereum is to come down to 1,737, that's going to trigger Kraken to place a limit order to sell my coins. So now we need to choose a limit price. So we'll come back on over here to the chart. I'll just zoom it out a bit with the wheel of my mouse, maybe something like this. And let's just imagine that we want to set up our limit order somewhere below this pivot on the market right here. So what I'll do is I'll grab a horizontal here and I'll mark somewhere slightly below this red wick, something like that. Now we can see the price point with that horizontal on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 1,685. So let's come back over here to the order panel. And we'll type that into limit price. So we'll go 1,685. Now there's a couple things to know about this. The first thing is, is I like to leave enough breathing room between my trigger price and my limit price. I want to make sure that Kraken has enough time to sell my coins if my trigger price gets hit. If your limit price is too close to your trigger price or at the same price point as your trigger price, you run the risk of price action getting below your limit price before the coins actually sell. 
If that happens, it'll simply be placed as a limit order on the order book and you'll be waiting for price action to bounce to come back up to your limit price before your order fills and executes. And there's no guarantee that that will happen. The second thing to know is if price action in my case here was to roll over and hit my trigger price here, Kraken will move to sell my coins for my limit price or better. If there's a better price point available on the order book when my trigger price gets hit, my coins will sell for a higher price than what I specified as my limit price. Basically, what I'm telling Kraken here is that I want to get at least 1,685 for my coins if my trigger condition gets hit. So you can always feel comfortable leaving a little bit of breathing room between your trigger price and your limit price. And Kraken is lightning fast about placing these orders and getting your coins sold for you. But it's just something I don't like to leave to chance. Now that we've chosen our trigger price as well as our limit price, we'd come back to the order panel and then we would choose the amount of the asset that we wish to sell if our stop loss gets hit. For this demonstration, I'll just slide this up to 100%. And then once you have this set up the way that you want it, you come down here and click on sell. Now we've placed that stop limit order. If the price of Ethereum was to come down to 1737 my Ethereum would be sold for 1685 or better if there's a better price point available on the order book when my trigger price gets hit. This stop limit will stay in place until it either gets hit or I manually cancel it. To find the details of it, you'd come down here to conditional orders and here's where you'll find the details of your stop limit. If at any point you want to cancel it, just come right on over here and click on this little red X. You'll get your cancel order confirmation window here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on yes, and I've canceled that stop limit order. At the end of the day, you'll have to do your own technical analysis on the time frame and the asset that you're trading and choose price points that are appropriate for your stop loss. But that's how you get that done. And there you have it. That's how you can set up a stop loss on Kraken Pro. If you got some value out of this, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my other Kraken tutorials, which I've left for you in the description of this video down below. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.